Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and today I'm going to show you how to take a photograph from here to here using ACDC Professional 2022. So let's get started and I'll restore this image back to its original state. And the first thing we can tell is it's a little bit underexposed. We can tell simply by looking at it and we can also see that the histogram here is leaning far too far to the left. So I'm going to get the exposure. I'm just going to drag it towards the right hand side. And as we do, you can see that the image brightens and that the histogram begins leaning towards the right hand side. Now that looks pretty good. I also want to add a little bit of extra definition into the image and I'm going to increase the clarity. Something that I do almost all of the time. Now, Part of the consequence of boosting the exposure of the image is that everything is now brighter, including the sky. And if we compare it with the original, you can see that we've lost quite a lot of detail in that sky. So a really fast, easy fix to do is simply add a linear gradient. So we click on the linear gradient option. We sort of drag it up to the top here and move it down. Basically, everything above this central point here, if I show you this, is going to darken. So once again, I grab the exposure option and move it to the left, making the image appear more dark. I'll just remove the grant so you can see. Let's go extreme. Let's go high. And hopefully you can kind of see how that works. So we don't want to go over the top. We're not looking for Hollywood. We just want to make it look quite natural. So we've added our gradient. We're going to click back on the gradient option and that returns us back to our sort of global uh, editing controls. What I'm going to go do next is I'm going to go to the color wheel. Now the color wheel is a great way to independently select certain colors and hues and adjust those without affecting any other color or hue within the photo. So in this case, I'm going to begin with the sky. And I'm going to adjust the contrast. And here it just appears to experiment. I'm going to reduce the brightness a bit further down. And I'm going to increase the saturation. And you probably can't tell from here, but that's looking quite a lot better. If we look at the original, you can kind of see that the new sky has got the detail of the original one, but we've also benefited from adjusting the brightness of the foreground. I'm going to click on this green button here because I want to add a new color. And this time I'm going after the grass. So again, it's a little bit too green, almost a little bit too natural and pedestrian. I want to make it a bit more dramatic, and I'm going to do that by desaturating it. Now, this is all a matter of taste. Whatever you prefer, you're right. But in my case, I do prefer that desaturated look. It just lends the scene a little bit of moodiness, and it was a moody day. And I'm going to boost the contrast up as well and perhaps just a little bit of brightness maybe a little bit too desaturated right i'm liking that that looks good next is sharpening if you shoot in raw photos look terrible we need to sharpen them and don't be hesitant to do so. I'm going to increase the sharpening amount. And I'm also going to increase the radius. And we can see here. If we jump into per pixel level. We can see sort of the before. After. Before. After. Whenever you do any sharpening. Make sure that you're not overdoing it. If you over sharpen, not only does it look a little bit uncanny, 
but you're also going to introduce various different artifacts, outlines to things where there shouldn't be outlines and so forth. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is crop a bit. Again, this is a matter of taste. You might like your image the way it is. I think this image could look a little bit more focused, not in terms of actual focus, but just in terms of composition. I feel like there's a lot of dead space just around here. So I'm going to kind of bring that in a little bit. And there we go. So that is basically just sort of a quick route to editing your landscape photos with ACDC Professional. Just to remind ourselves, if we click on the original, we can see the sort of original underexposed, rather pedestrian looking image versus something that's going to sort of jump out a little bit at you. Perhaps the other thing I would have done is tone curves. So for example, I might want to crunch those blacks a little bit. So great way to deal with tone curves, if you're new to them, is what we call an S curve. So simply follow the line, put three dots in, and this one here gives us the ability to adjust the sort of richer um, high tones. Mid tones are here, so highlights I should say, and then shadows, black tones down here at the bottom. And you can see here that makes quite a big, big difference. But in this case, I only want to really affect the sort of crunch the blacks a little bit. It will give us a bit of extra definition. Yeah, and that's looking quite good. And if you press on the little circles next to the adjustments, you can deactivate the effect. So that's what the photo looked like prior to the tone curve. And this is what the photo looks like without. And using this option, you can kind of sort of choose whichever you thought looks best and make any necessary adjustment thereafter. But right now, I've decided I'm very happy with that. I'm going to leave it be. That's my finished photo. And I'm going to move on to the next one. So I hope that was really useful. If you haven't used ACDC Professional before, you can try it for free for 30 days. You don't need to put your credit card down or anything like that. There's a link in the description below for that. But anyway, hope that was useful. I wish you all the best. Goodbye.